All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Salutations to the elect out there scattered wherever you may be. Let me straighten the phone out. May Yahweh Bahashem, Yahashai, bless you and your household, right? Shalom to you. Uh, to the hopeful elect out there. I think I said that already. Shalom to you. Akim on the highways and byways. Week in and week out. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. May Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai bless you and your household. And Shalom to all you believers out there. Who do believe in the names of Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai be in the name of his son. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, shalom to you. And lastly, shalom to you, sincere sisters out there who believe in the names of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. May Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai bless you and your household, and may you continue to endure. All right, it is your brother Tabakia coming to you again with another lesson. And I pray that you're edified because that's what we do these lessons for edification. All right, um, the milk, all right, the milk back to BTB, back to the basics, like the elders say. All right, we, we go into the meat occasionally, but we must stick with the milk so we can understand where, where everything is and where we're coming from. All right. Um, today's lesson will be based in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 26. OK, uh, and these words are in red. All right. These words are uh, the, the words of our Lord. Shai. OK. Uh, he got betrayed right after the Passover or around the time of the Passover. All right. So I'm, you know, through the spirit, I, I pray or I prayed earlier that I get a lesson or a title for this lesson. And the spirit said, you know, title this lesson, prepare to be betrayed. All right. Because in these last days of, of Esau Edom's queendom, because that's all it is. It's a, it's a queendom. All right. You're going to have friends betraying friends, right? Your woman, your wife's going to betray you, right? Your family will betray you, all right? Your co-workers are going to betray you. Just people in general, all right? You can't trust anybody. Trust no man but Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? You can't put anything past anyone, especially in these last days. If you're in his truth, right, on the highways and byways, week in and week out and doing these lessons, you know, daily, in the evening, etc. All right, you're presenting your body as a living sacrifice, and we just have to prepare for the worst, unfortunately. But that's just the life of so uh, of a chosen vessel who who's uh, chosen to do this work. All right. Let's get into it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty six, and we'll begin at verse um eighteen. All right, right here, it reads, and he said, and who's that he? That's Yahweh Shai. And he said, go into the city to such a man. Wait, 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 actually. Let me see. Oh, let's start at verse 14. All right, to, for context sake. Matthew chapter 26, verse 14. And it reads, if, my, if it gets too dark in here, I'm going to turn that light on. Then one of the 12, all right, called Judas is Cariot, went out unto the chief priest. You can read about this in the book of Mark, all right, and the book of Luke, okay? Judas was a part of the 12. He was he was a part of Jesus's, or excuse me, Yahweh Shai's group, circle of men, all right, the prophets who were set up by him. But an evil spirit hopped on him. And it was all for prophecy's sake. Nonetheless. Continuing on. Then one of the twelve. Called Judas. Issachariot. Went unto the chief priests. Verse 15. And said unto them. What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. Alright. He's negotiating with these wicked men. Of, of Israel. All right, because there's wicked men in Israel. All right, whether it be you so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans. 
All right, you're wicked. You sell out for the bag. All right, there's no there's no ways around it. This P Diddy shit that's going on. All right, that's your how about you how shy exposing the industry. It's worse than that. All right, you niggas do some low level shit for this. Let me hold. Let me, excuse my French, but this freaking uh, peon currency. These uh, you know FRNs. Federal Reserve notes in, the, in, in in this time. But back then, you were doing it for the fucking coin. All right, so how how could you sell out our Lord, Yahweh Shai? A noble, a righteous man, a man who walked on earth and never co committed sin. All right? But once again, like I said, it's all for prophecy's sake. Continuing on. Uh... Verse 15 again, and said unto them, what will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. Um, and, and I will deliver him uh, unto you. And they cut and they and they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. All right, our Lord Yahweh shot was sold out. For 30 pieces of silver, the son of Yahweh was sold out by a wicked ass nigga for 30 pieces of silver. Right? And we're going to be sold out these last days too. You know, the FBI, CIA, etc. They know who the, who the Israelites are. They know who the prophets are. Beginning with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. All right? We're prepared for you devils. Because we're moving in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. In Lord's will, we don't give up our integrity. We don't give in when Esau Edom tries to make us do wicked shit, off shit, right? Especially when it comes down to that MOTB. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 16. And from that time, he sought up, he sought, he sought opportunity to betray him. All right, Judas, right after he took that bag. Had an opportunity to betray Yahweh Shai. Continuing on. Verse 17. Now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came unto uh, the, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai, saying unto him, Where would thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? So the disciples are like, yo, where should we, Yahweh Shai, where should we go to eat this Passover? To, you know, to hold to hold this high holy day. Verse 20. Now, when the evening was come, he sat down with the 12. 21. And as they did eat, he said, Verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Turn this light on. Heavy story. All right, he said, one of you shall betray me. He knew who it was. He knew who it was the whole time. All right. And with the spirit of discernment, we know who to watch out for and etc. Because not everybody is your friend. All right. You got snakes all over the place. All right. Evil spirits, evil demonic spirits hop on people and they have to do what they have to do. But us being spiritual men, all right, we see things through our third eye if you will, and we use our gift of discernment because we are in a difficult society, right? Esau, Edom, allowing all this madness and just debauchery, sickness to roam the earth because as long as this devil is in power, sickness will continue to roam this earth. Continuing on. Right here, and he says. Uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 22. And they were exceeding sorrowful and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, Yahweh Shai, is it I? So they're like, who is it? Who's this person that's going to betray you know, the son of Yahweh, the son of God. Verse 23. 
and he answered and said and he and he answered and said he that dippeth he that dippeth his hand with me in the dish the same shall betray me all right you can you can eat lunch dinner play golf play basketball play ps4 play ps5 online with a so-called friend but once that evil spirit hops on him and he's not aware of it, right? He's gonna, he's gonna hate you. He's gonna betray you, and especially if they, you know, they know that you're doing this work, doing the work of the Lord Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, right? People hate us because we're on the highways and byways, condemning this wicked ass kingdom, right? And they, they want to betray us, and they, they, if they could, they put us to death. They will put us to death, and just be prepared, because all of us aren't. Gonna make it on this side, right? Some of us have to be martyrs. Pursuant to the book of Revelation. All right, die, we'll, we'll die for this for this truth. We'll die in righteousness. All right. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 24. The son of man. Goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. So destruction to Judas, right? Who betrayed our Lord Yahweh Shai? And that's that that that's that could apply to you niggas today, and you 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 heathens today. To make destruction come to you and your household for scoffing, for having an evil thought towards the Lord's men. On the highways and byways. May your families be destroyed. And may you be plagued. Alright. Because we're doing something righteous. We, we're we tired of Esau Edom's wickedness in this earth. Alright. The nigga woman is against us. Right. And our oppressor is ruling. Continuing on. Verse 24. Oh, again, the Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Continuing on. It 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 had been good for that man if he had not been born. It would have been better for Judas if he would not have been born to betray Yahweh Shai. Just like it would have been, it would have been better for you two thirds if you were not born on this side, all right. Just for you to be destroyed, but you're going to be destroyed in the flesh, all right. Those nukes are coming. You see what's going on in Israel. You see what's going on in Iran, all right. You see what's going on in Hamas, Ukraine, Russia. Yahweh Shai stirring up the spirits of the nations. And these are truly beautiful times because our salvation is near. All that we have to continue to do is hang on. Hang on and endure. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 25. Then Judas, which betrayed him, <laughs> watch, watch this, and said, Master, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said, you said it, nigga. I didn't say anything. All right. Hey, you stay silent enough, especially if you're in this truth. You stay silent enough. Your answers will be revealed. Whatever you're seeking for will come to a revelation. You'll have a revelation and a revealing about that. Now, you don't even have to say anything. Your spirit alone irritates people. Our spirit alone irritates people. So lucky. I'm at 10%. Our spirit alone irritates these demons. And may it continue to irritate you fucking demons. Because we're not, hey, we're, we're going to die for this truth. And we're going to die in the names of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. There is no looking back. I don't care how hard life gets. There is no looking back. This place is fucking wicked and it needs to be destroyed. Continuing on. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. And as they were eating. Yahweh Shai took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. All right, that's because Yahweh Shai is ultimately the, the ultimate Passover, right? He, he, uh, he uh, is above that lamb, but he is the lamb, 
all right but he he's above any any animal on this side he's our sacrificial lamb now of my body and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood verse 28 for uh for this is my my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins. The water Yahweh for sending Yahweh Shai. For the water Yahweh for sending Yahweh Shai to save the elect. All right, because two thirds of the nation of Israel has to perish, but the elect will be saved. Right? First, the elect first. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 29. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day. When I drink it, new with you in my father's kingdom. So Yahweh Shai didn't even drink any wine uh, past overnight, right? Let me see. Yeah. You know, he didn't drink it <laughs> because he's waiting on uh, the elect to be beamed up in those chariots and for this place to be destroyed to see his brothers, right, on those ships. And, he went, and then he'll crack open that bottle of wine. That's how, that's how dedicated Yahweh Shai is. New with you in my father's kingdom. So in the kingdom of heaven that will be here on earth, we're going to have new wine. The best wine ever. Right? Continuing on. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 30. And when they had sung of him, sung in him, they went out on the Mount of Olives. Verse 31. And saith Yahweh Shai unto them, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. And he was quoting uh, the Old Testament, you know, Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 7. Verse 32. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. All right. Because Yahweh Shai rose three days after he was put to death. Verse 33. The only man on earth to do that, might I add. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended of be offended because of thee, yet I will never be offended. All right. Even Peter thought he was ten toes down. Peter was trying to stand on business, but you know, the evil spirit happened to him and, and it hopped on him. Right? Continuing on. Yahweh I said unto him, Verily I say unto thee that this might be before the uh, the cock crow, thou shalt uh, deny me. Thrice, three times. So Yahweh Shai, he, was, he basically, he, he saw, he, he knew. <laughs> he just, he knew, right? He had that gift of seeing the future. He said, Peter, you're going to you're gonna deny me three times, my names. Verse 35, Peter said unto him, though I should die with thee, yet I will not deny thee. Likewise, also said all the disciples. So they're like, yep, yep, yep. Continuing on, verse 36. Then cometh Yahweh Shai with them unto a place called Getha, uh, Getha Semain, and said, saith unto the prophet, the, unto, unto the disciples, sit, uh, sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Verse 37, and he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee and be gone to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, my soul is exceeding sorrowful because he knew he was about to be crucified, right? Even unto death, tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went out a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, as I will, nevertheless, not as I will, as not, not as I will, but as thou will. All right. That's because it's not our will. Everything on earth is from Yahweh's will. Yahweh Ratazah, right? God willing. Ratazah means willing. All right. Everything is God willing. That's why wherever we go, whatever we do, any moves that we make, we say, Lord willing. Because it's not our will. It is Yahweh's will. Right? If it, any, everything that's happening to you in your life right now is by Yahweh's will. If you can receive that. Verse 40. As he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, what could ye not watch with me one 
hour. Like he told Peter to hang out with him while he prays and throws up a spirit. But Peter passed out, fell asleep, right? Peter was a human. You know, he, we're all human. We fall asleep. Verse 41, watch and pray that you enter not into, tem not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, Yahweh Shai said the spirit is willing. We want to do the right thing, but we're in these fleshly bodies in this week. Right, this is hell because we're not set up to win in this kingdom. Verse 42, he went again and uh, the second time and prayed saying, oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. It is always Yahweh's will. Pray anything that you Pray for, say, Yahweh willing. All right, if it's not Yahweh willing, it'll go away. It'll disappear. It'll leave from your life. It won't be for you, basically. All right, here we go. I'm Verse 43, and he came and found them again, and he came and found them sleep again, for their eyes were heavy, and he left them and went away again, and prayed unto the third time, saying the same words. Verse 43, then cometh he to, the, to his disciples, and saith unto them, sleep on now, and take your rest, behold, the hour is at hand. And the son of man is betrayed into the hand of sinners. Okay, so if Yahweh Shai got betrayed, we need to be we need to prepare to be betrayed. Verse 46. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doeth betray me. Judas, right? Verse 47. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came. With, with swords and statu uh, statues from the chief priests and staffs, wait, with swords and staffs from the chief priests and elders of the people. All right, wicked ass Jakes, wicked ass so called Negroes, uh, Jamaicans, and Haitians, right? So called, uh, you know, the tribe of Benjamin and Levi, because at the time of Yahweh Shia, while he was on earth, there was a good portion of the southern kingdom over there in Jerusalem. And they were all the priests and the elders at the time. Matthew chapter 26, verse 48. Now he that betrayeth him gave them a sign saying, whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. Verse 49. And forthwith he came to Yahweh Shai and said, hell master, and kissed him. You, this story is, makes me mad. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shai and took him. Verse 51, and behold, one of them, which were with Yahweh Shai, stretched out his hand and drew his sword and stroke a servant of the high priest and smote his ear. Then saith Yahweh Shai unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And if I have more time, I'll go get that precept. But if you want to go read this, go check out the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. All right. And then also go to Genesis in the Old Testament, chapter 9, verse 6. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 53. Watch what Yahweh Shai says. You don't need, because we don't need, we don't need carnal weapons on this side. All we need is his faith and his gospel. Verse 53. Yahweh Shai says this. These words are in red, right? Thinketh that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Yahweh Shai could have had 12 evil angels come down from the heavens to stop all this madness, right? But he, you know, he didn't do it because it wasn't, it would have, it would have disrupted prophecy of him dying for the children of Israel. So he made himself that sacrificial lamb. He prepared for it. But as you can see, what did he say earlier? The spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Those are some powerful words, y'all. Don't let these words uh, slide by you. Because we, we pray to be in his righteousness. Continuing on. Verse 53. 
uh, verse 54 now. But how then shall the scripture be fulfilled? All right, if y'all were sure, I would have had those 12 evil angels come down to kill those chief priests, the elders, and that wicked ass nigga Judas. Prophecy in the scripture would not have been fulfilled. You know, let that sink in. Verse 54 again, but now, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? All right, go read Isaiah chapter 53, uh, verse 10. And that same hour said, how shall to the multitudes? Are ye come out as against the thief with swords and staffs for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and you laid no hold on me. All right. Verse 56. But all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsake him and fled. All right, and that's uh that's in the book of Lamentations, chapter four and verse twenty, who was written by the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah prophesied Yahweh Shai coming to this earth. Yahweh Shai is all throughout the Old Testament. All right? Verse 57. Woo, this book is fire. Let's see where we're gonna end. I don't want to make this too long. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 57. And they that had